and welcome to the Link Sport. My name is Aaron Renfrey and we are reporting at Lincoln Fight Factory Wrestling's biggest event thus far, Body Slams to Cancer. Come on, Junior, fire away. With a star-studded match card, the wrestlers gave it their all as they put on their best performance yet. One of the standout bouts was a clash between SC Supreme, who claimed to hail from somewhere better than Lincoln, facing off against Hall's Kaz Crash, who had this to say. Really, really good, we really enjoyed it. A uh, couple of uh, battle wounds, uh, but now unexpected, so came out with a victory in the end, so yeah, couldn't have gone better. You know, most promotions don't draw, you know, don't draw half of what we got in here tonight. One of the, one of the better crowds I've worked in front of, so brilliant. Another key moment included Dutch reclaiming his title from Roy Jackson, who was not pleased with the outcome. It wasn't the most successful night for the Untouchables. Leah Hart is the new Lincoln Fire Factory Women's Champion. As you can see, Will Jackson is no longer the Lincoln Fire Factory Heavyweight Champion. Uh, so, all in all, not a great, happy show for the Untouchables. Crowd. Yeah. Got to take hats off to the crowd. Great event. Body slam to cancer, raising lots and lots of money. Uh, I don't know the total figure, but I know we're in uh, over £2,000 raise, and all these guys are very pleased to be a part of that crowd. Some of them got a little bit too close, some of them were great. I love when fans get involved, I love it when they give you a little bit of grief and a bit of banter, it just fuels the fire, and that's all Untouchables want is a bit of fire. Jackson's opponent, Dutch, also spoke to the link. I think we sold the, the arena out, we weren't expecting an absolute sellout. For a charity show to have the atmosphere that we had tonight with what I'd imagine is predominantly non-wrestling fans, I couldn't ask for more, I really couldn't. Jackson is somebody I used to train with, um, we know each other pretty well, so it, it's hard to, to come up with something that he hasn't seen me do either in training or when we were sparring partners, um, so you've got to step up a little when you know somebody that well. I want to defend this to anybody who wants to come to Lincoln. Anybody wants me to go to their town, um, I'll take it around. Raising over £2,300 with the proceeds going to St. Barnabas Lincolnshire Hospice in Cancer Research UK. This group of Britain grapplers will certainly be pleased with the event's outcome and will no doubt be looking forward to next month's event. <laughs>